a firearm. 101 basics. Over the years I've had a lot of people want to shoot and they have never shot in their life. I do not uh, allow them to shoot firearms first. Even if they say, they, I want to buy a handgun and to defend myself against next lover, like women will come in and say that, or an ex-husband, I say, give me two days, because I realize I don't have much time. Two days is what I ask. One is to teach them how to shoot a pellet rifle, just a basic pellet rifle, single shot, break open pellet rifle, and to get their basics in shooting, and to, uh, understand some of how it works. I then take and I put a target out there at 15 feet and you might say well that's ridiculous 15 feet get it out there so you can you know a decent distance. Now I explain to them that most attacks start within 15 feet. Five steps. And so you had better be able to punch and understand what the gun does at that, that range. It also builds up tremendous confidence very quickly that they're going to be punching very accurately on a target this size, the size of a chest. And that's what I, I push on the end of the totem pole to get them confident and familiar with a firearm as quickly as possible. And not to be afraid of it, either through the noise or through the kick. And a pellet gun works very well for that way of doing it. Plus it only costs, you know, about two cents a shot. You can afford to shoot the thing. Now, with that in mind, I then take the next step. Once they have mastered the 15 feet, feel comfortable, I then move it out there to 10 yards and they shoot there until they feel comfortable. I then move it out to 20 yards. 60 feet is the most we shoot. And they get comfortable and accurate at that range also. And I also watch for anything they're picking up, bad habits that could cause them inaccurate shooting. Once they have accomplished that, I then come back to the 15 feet. And I pick up and I, I buy, and I have Tums because shooting pieces of paper gets boring pretty quickly for them. and Within the first hour they're pretty bored with it. But once you take the Tums and you start setting them out on the board to shoot a Tums, it gets interesting real quick because now you have an exploding target. A target that will explode. Oh, basically like a blue rock. And with that in mind, it's inexpensive, and yet it gives them a lot of confidence that they don't really have as a new shooter. And once you accomplish that they can hit that at least five out of five times, you then move it on out and clear out to the 10-yard mark, 30 feet, and still having them bust at, uh, the, the tums out there. Once they've accomplished that, you take the next step, and you go to aspirins. I said you go to aspirins and you have them shooting aspirins with the pellet gun. Hey! <laughs> and at 15 feet when they're busting aspirins all of a sudden they realize just how accurate they can be. That they don't have to just shoot a, a, a 30 round clip to hit something. Too many of the gang bangers, too many of the police sitting there with 14 rounds behind the first one have no comprehension of making the first shot count so you don't even have to fire the second shot. And with that in mind, if you know that your first shot is dead on and that you don't have to shoot for the chest, that you can shoot for the nose or for an eye and the game's over, even with a pellet gun. But then, once they've got that, you move that out to 10 yards. And you're shooting aspirins at 10 yards, and they do it reasonably quick. Hey! <laughs> and you teach them a continual safety. And again, continually watching for any bad habits that might make them miss. But at the same time, I teach them how to shoot. And shoot not from here, because they're going for defense, but shoot from the hip. By shooting from the hip, you have speed shooting and there isn't uh, not one in a thousand bad guys that shoots from the hip for speed shooting that means he's gonna grab his gun and pull it up here to shoot FBI kinda of stuff and that type of style 
and he'll never beat you. You'll, he'll be dead before his gun gets up there because you're going to shoot from the hip. And the bad guy drops and you get to live to see tomorrow.